Basically, it's a commitment that uh, no military action will uh, include or, or will imply um, uh, aiming, uh, of course, uh, at the plant uh, or a radius that could be affecting its normal uh, operation. This is what we, what we expect. We are looking into the specific uh, technical uh, characteristics that we would like to see. Uh, as I was implying in, in, my, in my previous answer, there are issues related to the radius, there are issues related to how our, uh, our experts would be working in this regard. So there are a few things that uh, should be uh, agreed uh, upon. And, and what I see, and I, of course, uh, diplomatic uh, caution and, and professionalism uh, requires prudence. Uh, but what I see is two sides that are engaging with us, that are asking questions, lots of questions. You can see the six reactors, and each, independently of the fact that you have them in, in shutdown or, or not, they, they still require external power supply. So if you were in a situation where the external power was interrupted, then you would still be facing a nuclear accident, even if the reactors are not providing <coughs> energy or power to the Ukrainian grid.